<laughs> How's it going, people? I am Lol2 Skaters, and I'm going to show you guys how to enable split screen mode onto Left 4 Dead. I've seen a lot of people try to explain how to do it, and it's very complicated how they do it, so I'm just going to make it easy for you people and show you how to do it. Now, I'm actually going to use two PS3 controllers as an Xbox 360 controller. Now, if you, ha if you have seen any of my earlier videos, which I am going to post on the description below, uh, I showed you guys how to uh, how to plug your PS3 controller into your PC. And during the video, I also showed you guys how to make it into an Xbox 360 controller. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my PS3 controllers. That's one. That's two. So I'm going to go ahead and run my DS3 tool, which is also called Motion Enjoy. At least it goes to its website. I'm not really sure. There we are. So now that that's open, I'm going to go ahead and wait. And then there we are. I'm going to press this drop down list. And there should, and to show you guys, there are two PS3 controllers DualShock 3, forward slash axis, 6 axis, blah, 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 1 and 2. So I'm not really sure which one is the first one. So I'm actually going to make it simple for me. And I'm actually going to mark it. And while I have this checked, Xbox 360 controller emulator, custom, number one, enable. Now I have a black and silver controller. Now let me see which one it is. Looks like the silver controller is the first player. Now for my second one. This one will be second player. There we are. Now my black one is the second player. So let's go ahead and close this. We'll need that. I'm going to go ahead and run Left 4 Dead. I'm going to also lower down the volume for it. There we are. Now, there are two methods to do this. The first method is uh, the people is what people most have been showing. So I'll sh I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. But that method doesn't work for me. So I'm also going to show you my method, which is the second method. That works for me. Just so you know, I won't be able to put this as full screen. I'm only going to be able to put it for uh, windowed, ver windowed mode. Let's just go ahead and wait for it to launch. Now, the computer might may slow down because of the re video recording. So I can't control that. Very sorry if it does. Open up my mixer. Let me see. Now I'm going to uh, put down the volume on this thing because you won't be able to hear me over the sound two weeks after infection. Now we're just going to wait for it to load. <sighs> Sorry it's taking so long. That is actually what's taking most of the video time now, isn't it? Alright, there we are. So in case console command isn't, uh, isn't activated, usually Steam has it automatically activated. All you have to do is go options, keyboard and mouse. Um, allow developers console. Yep. Okay, now uh, we're going to press the squiggly line under underneath the escape key. I'm not sure what it's called. And that will show up. So, like I said, there are two ways to actually make it. So I'm going to do the first thing, which is actually I'm going to activate my PS3 controllers, Xbox 360 controllers. Um, instead of me having to go to options and edit. If This will only work for Xbox 360 controllers. That's why I made my PS3 controllers into Xbox 360 controllers. Just so I, I'm not going to edit any of the keys or anything. I like the controls the way they are. So in case you guys, you people don't have an Xbox 360 controller, you, you people are going to have to make your own settings. All you have to do is go to keyboard and mouse, gamepad, enable it, and then edit keys, keys and uh, forward slash buttons. 
So here's the first one, exec 360, sorry, controller. There we are. Now it makes it simple for you since it already has some of the commands automatically on there. <laughs> really? Right. All right, so now the PS3 controllers will work uh, and they're both, they both will work separately, one for first player, one for second player, so you won't have to really worry about that. So let's go ahead and do the split screen. We're gonna also we're gonna do this. This this key is to just to you know make it uh, position it the way that you want it. Um, SS underscore underscore split mode one. Now there's there are two differences between one and two. One will allow will allow a, a horizontal view of the of the split screen. Two is for the vertical view of the split screen. So whichever one you want, which I'm more comfortable with horizontal, I'm going I'm going to, I'm going to choose that. But if you if you ever want a vertical, you have to have it widescreen mode, which is basically going to options, video, uh, and aspect ratio, ratio, normal widescreen. You have to have it on widescreen, no exceptions, if you want a vertical. But, you know, why not put it widescreen? Actually, it makes the the screen look bigger, so why not? So I already, enable, I already have it split mode 1 for horizontal. Now I'm going to put SS underscore enable 1. Huh. About to sneeze. <laughs> so supposedly, this is the method that some people worked with. But supposedly, it's supposed to... As soon as you play a single player game, it automatically activates the it automatically activates the, uh, the split screen mode for single player only. And it doesn't work for me for some reason. I'm going to show you guys anyways. So let's go a single player. I'm not going to, I'm, not, I'm just going to choose Bill. Why not? I want to start a game. All right, so we're just gonna wait for it to load. Now I'm very, I'm really sorry about this. <sighs> Ooh, sorry about the yawn, <laughs> the how rude of me. Anyways, sorry about the slow loading. Like I said, it's might be either the game or just a recording. Either way, I I have no control over that. I have a new computer. It's a Windows 8 Toshiba satellite uh, laptop with a. Uh, AMD Vision Radeon, really good, really good for gameplay. Got it from Best Buy, paid like 300 bucks, <laughs> really good. It's almost done loading. There we are. Now it's done. So, by the looks of it, it's only at single player, like I said earlier. So, I'm going to use one of the controllers, which is the silver one. And I enabled the 360 controller for the, three, for the PS3 Xbox 360 emulator. And it works just well, as you can see. And I like the controls as it is. So, now I'm going to show you guys if you guys have this situation you just press the squiggly line to uh, open the console and you're going to put SS underscore connect now you'll hear some weird noise or something but that's actually means working and look split screen mode and player unnamed has joined the game as you can see and none, the controls don't affect each other. It, it's its own separate controls, independent. So that's really convenient. <laughs> but unfortunately, for some reason, it won't let you choose a, per, a person. I don't know why. Now, I, I know you, you won't care about which player, you, which player you're going to be playing as as long as you're playing two players. But just so you know, it won't let you pick a player for some reason. But here, let me go ahead. And, you have to put CMD2. 
join team two. Now to join team two, that's for this is for survival when you're playing survival mode, or, and this is for uh, join team three is when you're playing infection. But I'm gonna put join team two. Why not? Now let's press enter. There we are. As you can see, you could now you could choose which one you're playing as. See. There we are. So now, now it all works just well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close that. So that's how you enable split screen mode onto Left 4 Dead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Lotus Skater signing out. Ho hope you have a nice day. Love y'all.